Hey everyone, welcome to this cover song lesson. My name is Nate Savage. And uh, in this lesson, we're gonna take a look at the Goo Goo Dolls song, Iris. And this one can be a little bit challenging if you've never messed with changing time signatures within a song. Uh, that's because it switches back and forth between six, eight and four, four quite a bit. Uh, so it's a really cool challenge. If you've never done that before, it's a great place to start. Um, also, one thing that I should mention before we get into it is this song, uh, originally has the guitar in an alternate tuning that I decided not to do that. I just did standard tuning because I figured most people would just want to grab their guitar and jam along without having to worry about, you know, putting in their guitar into an alternate tuning. All right, all the lesson resources are available for you on guitarfm.com. Uh, the jam track without the guitar, the jam track with no guitar, no vocals too, the chord charts, tabs, and of course the video are all available there. So if you haven't yet, go to guitarfm.com, create your complimentary account. You'll get access to that and the first module of all of our premium courses will be, be available for you too. All right, quite a few chords in this song to go through, so let's just start off by looking at what key we're in. We're in B minor or D major. Let's go with D major just to keep things simple. Uh, so the chords in D major are D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, and C sharp diminished. And then back to D. And here are the chords in the order in which they appear in the song. You have a B minor. You also have a B sus2. Now, uh, next is a bunch of different iterations or um, types of G chords. There's the four finger G. There's a three finger G that I use sometimes. It's a G major seven. So just take this note on the high E string, move it down one fret to the second fret. Right? And then a G6, which is just an open high E string. And sometimes I use a G, it's like a four finger G, but I'm just playing with my pinky on the third fret of the B string there. So my D is the highest note. And you'll see why later when we get to the part that uses that particular voicing. Okay, next is a D. D major, E minor. And then an A. Then we also have an A over C sharp. And most of the time when I play an A in this song, I'm using just my index finger barring these three strings of the A, open A chord. That's because it's a fast change and it's just easier to get there. Uh, the A over C sharp, I leave that same fingering there. I just put my pinky down on the fourth fret of the A string. And the last chord that you need is just a D over F sharp. And you don't have to use all of these chords. You'll see as we go along, I'll show you easy ways to play through this and then the actual way that um, I have it arranged on the tab in the chord chart. All right, one thing that I should mention before we even get started with the parts is this song alternates between 4-4 four, four and 6-8. It changes time signatures quite a bit. And the intro of the first part we're gonna look at is in 4-4. Four, four, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's just go through the chords in the intro part and then we'll look at the strumming pattern for it. It's B minor. And then just take your middle finger off to play a B sus2. And then it goes back to a B minor on the and of four there. And then it goes to a G major seven in the next measure. And then a G6. And then this G where the highest note is on the third fret of the B string there, that D. So you have to that's kind of the sequence. Now you can get away with just playing B minor for this measure, for the whole measure, and then just G major for the uh, next measure, something like this. But when you play the other chords that I have in there, it ends up sounding more like the album. Uh, so just work through the chords first and get the sequence down and then worry about the strumming pattern. Here it is. So you start on that B minor and let's just uh, leave one chord on to learn the strumming pattern. So down, down, up, up, down. That's the first F. Down, down, up, up, down. And these are 16th notes. You're counting one, Then E and up down, uh, four E and uh. So just break this down very slowly. If you just need to count and write the rhythms in on uh, the chord sheet, that's cool. Um, this strumming pattern is kind of a generalized representation of what's going on because it's not super consistent in 
the recording. So I figured it'd just be easier to kind of standardize it for these first two measures anytime you see this intro here and on the re-intro. So you have Okay. And when you put the chords that change with that from the B minor and the B sus too, you know, you have Okay, and the changes, the chord changes there are, are on one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. It's much easier to me to just listen to this over and over again and get a feel for it. Okay, and the rhythm is the same. I kept the rhythm the same for the G chord. So you start off on the G major seven and switch to the G six up. And then you switch to the G with your pinky, four finger G without hitting the high E string essentially is what that last one is. So. And if you just kept the G on, just a regular old G. So that might be the way to go, work on just the rhythm first, which is individual B minor and G chords. And then G. And then. And that's the intro of the song. That happens here and it happens again after uh, the first chorus. So work on that on its own. Chords first, then uh, just strumming on its own, and then put them together. So once you have that intro down, you're going to play it twice. You'll see the repeat signs and up to speed. It will sound like this. One, two, three, four. And from there, you're going to hear that the song switches to 6-8. This is the main, uh, the majority of the song is in 6-8. So you switch to 6-8, and you go from this, 3, 4. If you count 8 notes, and 2, and 3, and 4. And when you switch, it sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. And that's 4, 4. 2, and 3, and 4. And to 6-8. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six. So the pulse doesn't change, you just have to kind of change your perception of it. So once you get to the verse, it changes to 6-8 and the strumming pattern is getting a lot easier here. They're just kind of standardized throughout most of the rest of the song. So the progression is just one, two, three. If you're in 6-8, a D major. And then on four, five, and six, E minor, four, five, six. Then G major for the whole next measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next measure, B minor. For half the measure, one, two, three. A major for the next three beats, four, five, six. Then G major for the next full measure, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's the chord progression. So just worry about getting that down first. So just counting to it, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And one thing that I like to do here, one, is when I get to this B minor to the A, I just use my index finger as a little bar back here on these three strings because it's faster to change between those chords. Or, you know, if you're feeling really confident with making an A this way or this way, you can do that too. It's up to you. It's just faster for me to play an A like that. Anyway, so work on getting that chord progression down for the verses. And then once you have that down, you can start to do the kind of standardized strumming pattern that's there. It's just down an eighth note on the uh, one and then two and three and you have a uh, 16 notes. So one, two, and three. And that's the main strumming pattern for uh, what will be three beats in six, eight, one, two, three. So you might just want to practice that over and over again. Just one chord. So that uh, little strumming pattern, one, two, three, and three beat pattern takes up half a measure in 6-8. So 
since the D is three beats in the first measure, one, two, and three, the strumming pattern is played once. So when you go to the E minor for the next three beats, four, five, and six, that takes up the rest of that measure. And then you switch to a G and you play the strumming pattern twice for the for because the, the G takes up the whole measure. One, Okay, and most of the time when I play uh, on the verses, I'm, throughout probably 90% of the song, I'm playing this four finger G because it kind of suits the style of the song better. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm also playing this four finger E minor most of the time just because it, it sounds more like what's on the recording. And most of the time I'm muting this A string instead of having it ring out just because that suits the style of the song a little bit more as well. So that's the first two measures of the verse. And then you have a B minor for three beats. So one, two, three, and then A, four, five, and six, A, and then G for a whole measure, strumming pattern twice. Okay, and that is the, that's all of the verse. You just repeat that progression or play that progression four times in total to make up the first verse. Now, when you get to the second verse, the second verse is half as long, you only play it twice. But let me just go ahead and play that uh, four times through, why not? Just give you a feel for what the verse sounds like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, once you can play that, uh, the chorus is right after this, and the chorus is the exact same progression as the last half of the verse progression. It's just B minor, A, G major, exact same thing. Same strumming pattern, same amount of time for each chord and everything. You just play B minor, A, G. A total of four times, you'll see the four X for the repeat signs there. So, uh, do. That's it for the chorus. Okay, once you play that chorus, you go back into the intro of the song, the re-intro, and we switch back to 4-4 four, four time here, so you have to be careful for that. And it's the exact same thing as the first intro, but with one big caveat. The last measure of this re-intro is in 3-4 time, so we have to drop a beat before going back into verse 2. So if you're chugging along on the chorus, one, two, three. You have to be able to switch your counting while keeping the beat steady. And let's start at the beginning of that again. The first time through that progression is the exact same. So. Next bar on that B minor is the same. Now this time when you switch to the G, this is where it changes to three, four. You have the same thing. But you have a down up on that G after the G6, and that is the end. That's the end of beat three. So you have to get ready to go right back in to verse two, which is in six, eight. The time changes again, so you gotta switch back to one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, And verse two, you only play the verse progression twice, so it's half as long as a verse. So let me play through the last uh, time through the progression of course one into the reintro and then into verse two so you can get a sense of the time changes there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs>
you just do another chorus, exact same thing, just B minor. <laughs> Four times again, B minor, A, G, B minor, A, G. Okay, so nothing different from chorus one. From there, we have an interlude where it's kind of the same type of playing, but the chord progression changes just slightly. Um, you go B minor, A, but this time it's an A over C sharp, and then a D. Okay, so on one, two, three, one, two, three, then A over C sharp, four, five, and six, seven. Then the whole next measure is a D. One, two, three, four, six. From there, I go B minor, A, G. B minor, A, G for whole measure. So that's this little interlude uh, instrumental uh, section. That's the progression for it. You just play that twice, and then you get into the da 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 the hits with the strings and stuff. Let me play that interlude for you, too, twice through, and uh, we'll go on to the other instrumental section from there. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Again. B minor, A, G. And one thing I should mention for this interlude, the intensity of the song comes down. So just you know, play quieter and kind of ramp up that last measure of G. All right, let's get into the really orchestral part with the hits. Uh, this is the same progression as in the intro of the song. Uh, you start on a B minor, go to B sus two, and then back to a B minor in that first measure. And we switch back to four, four time here, so be careful of that. Uh, it's The rhythm is a little bit different than the intro here. So just have four 16th notes, one, and then mute the strings for an eighth note. And then have four more 16th notes, but switch to a B sus two. And then mute again for an eighth note, then an eighth note downstroke, and then switch back to a B minor for another eighth note downstroke. So it'll be like this slowly. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first part. Uh, second part is a G major to a G major 7. And the strumming pattern here is just down, down, up, up, and then you switch to a G major 7. Down, up, down, and then 6. six. And then the last of that of those strums is, is an 8th note, so you, you don't dig into the last upstroke. So the rhythm here would be... And you can hear the rhythm in the strings. Da 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 da. So, one more time. One, two, three, four. So really separate the rhythms from the chord changes here. And for the B, it would be da 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 da. And then for the G, it'd be da da da. And then put them together. And then finally, when you can do that, put the chord changes together. And when all else fills, just listen to the song. You'll get a feel for the rhythm there. But you do that three times. The last time you play it through, you just play the B minor. And then you ditch uh, the measure of G that you played the last three times you played this. And you go right into the guitar solo, which is uh, where the strumming pattern kind of straightens out. And we're still in 4-4 four, four time here. It straightens out into straight 16th notes, but I'm accenting things. So the strumming pattern is just straight 16th for each measure, right? But I am accenting every third strum until I get to beat 4. And beat 4, I'm just accenting on four. So you end up with this kind of uh, feel. So G for one measure, let's switch to D over F sharp, same strumming pattern, same accents. Back to G. The 
then B minor, same thing. Okay, so that's the first four measures of the guitar solo. And uh, it changes a little bit here. The next four measures, uh, chord progression changes just a little bit, and you repeat these next four measures a total of two times. So uh, go on back under G, play the exact same thing. D O and F sharp, same thing. B minor. And here you, you stay on the B minor, it's still 16 note pattern, but the band kind of da, 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 has that kind of accent. You have to put that accent with your strumming pattern. So. so that's what you want to do for that last measure of uh, this four chord, uh, uh, four measure progression. And then just repeat it again. So. That's it for the guitar solo. There are uh, a total of 12 measures there, so you can think of it as three, four bar phrases. So let me play that uh, entire guitar solo part for you. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Get you into the down instrumental that's next uh, from there you go to a down instrumental and we change key signatures here again back to six eight and all you do is stay on a b minor for two full measures of six eight so you end up going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay and i'm bringing those dynamics way down so play a lot lighter and then the next two measures we go back to our b minor B minor A G progression. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next uh, two measures. B minor for the first three beats. One, two, three, A over C sharp for three beats. And then D. And then you have B minor A major for one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next measure, a G, but it's just hold that off for the entire measure you'll see there for six eight it's a dotted half note uh so let me play that down instrumental for you so you can follow along and this switches to six eight one two three four five six All right, next is just course three. It's the exact same thing as courses one and two. Four times. Still six eight. Step number four. Now they throw in an extra measure of G, so just stay on that G again. It's kind of a build up into the next chorus. So we have a double chorus here. Just play the chorus again. Four times. All right, there's three. So what you do. Now we have a tag, what we call a tag. We just play that same B minor, A, G, Two more times and it repeats that last line of the chorus. Up. I just want you to know. I just want you to know. And then you do the B minor A. Measure just B minor A, and that gets you into the outro of the song, which is just a light uh, strumming with your same da 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 one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and strumming pattern. Uh, and it's a four bar phrase that you repeat three times. It's just B minor, A over C sharp, D, B minor, A, G. Do that three times, there's two. It's a fade out too, so the last 
time. And that's it. That's all of the parts of the song. Let me go through um, the layout of the song with you real quick. So it starts off in 4-4. You go through the intro, play that progression twice. Then you go to verse 1, which switches to 6-8. You play that progression four times. Then you move into chorus 1, uh, and it's a four bar, uh, two bar phrase that you play four times. And uh, that gets you back into the re-intro, which is in 4-4. So you change time signatures, and at the end of that intro re-intro you have a bar of three four that drops the beat so watch out for that then you have verse two which switches back to six eight and that's just that same four bar phrase this time it's half as long so you only play it twice instead of four times for verse two uh for course two same exact thing four times through that two bar phrase that two bar progression and then you have the interlude which is a four bar phrase you play twice and you're still in a six eight there from there, you have the instrumental orchestral thing where you switch to 4-4 four, four time. Uh, you play a two-bar phrase three times, and then you have the, one kind of tag bar on just that B minor, and you drop what would be that bar of G the fourth time through. That gets you to the guitar solo, which is in 4-4 four, four time as well. And you have uh, that uh, four-bar phrase followed by another four-bar phrase that you repeat twice. Okay, from there you have the down instrumental that switches back to 6-8. and It's just an 8-bar phrase that ends the last bar, but it ends on that G chord that you hold out for the entire measure. From there you go to chorus 3, which is nothing different. It's just a normal chorus. And at the end of that chorus, after you repeat that 2-bar progression four times, you have an extra bar of G that you hold on there to build up into what will be chorus 4, the double chorus. Play that again, those same 2-bars uh, progression, four times. And then you have a tag that you repeat twice, so those two bars two more times. And then to cap off that last little uh, course four, you have another measure of B minor to A before going into the outro, <laughs> which stays in six, eight, and uh, is just a, a four bar phrase that you play three times, and then it fades out on the last time. Okay, if you're not used to switching between time signatures like this, I know this song can be pretty challenging. Uh, just take it one section at a time, Work on the individual sections and then put them together. You'll have a much easier time doing it. And then, you know, put your guitar down and just count through it and tap through it too. Uh, counting along with the parts that change from 4-4 four, four to 6-8 time. That'll uh, help you a lot as well. If you need any extra help with this, go to guitarfam.com, Create your complimentary account and schedule your personal private one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. The first one is complimentary. So I'll be looking forward to meeting you. If you have any other questions about the song, leave them in the comments below or email us support at guitarfam.com and we'll see you on the site. Bye. to heaven that I'll ever be and I don't want to go home right now and all I can taste is this moment and all I can breathe is your life and sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight Tears that ain't coming Oh, the moment of truth in your lives When everything fails